Let's talk a little NASCAR, shall we? Joining me now, we are so excited to welcome in 2311's Tyler Reddick. Tyler, congratulations. You've made it to the championship round. I'm just so curious what prep looks like for you this week. Is it any different than a normal week? Uh, slightly different. I think uh, for us, you know, we've had a little bit of extra time to uh, post <laughs> Homestead, get ready for the Phoenix championship race. And so... Yeah, it's nice to be able to take advantage of that extra week, um, not be in quite the rush that uh, some of the other teams, uh, the, the two other teams are, that uh, had to advance through Martinsville. So, yeah, everything feels good. Uh, we did everything we needed to do uh, the last 10 days or so, and I feel like we're in a really good spot. And in that sense, we're feeling really good about our, our preparation going into this weekend. Yeah, what's kind of your comfortability right in Phoenix? Obviously, you finished 10th in Phoenix earlier this year. You led the most laps with 68. Do you think that that'll work to your advantage? I think so. Um, you know, we, we did a really good job of making the most of uh, the first half of that race. We obviously got a little bit off uh, in the second half and couldn't quite get back through the field when strategy got flipped up. But yeah, I think knowing what we brought for a car and, and where we could have been better um, looking back on the spring gives us a, a lot of confidence going into this weekend. You know, everyone has worked really, really hard on, on our Toyota Camrys back at Airspeed um, and our partnership with, with JGR. Um, it just feels like everybody um, under the Toyota banner as well. Just so many people have really given this car all the attention that it needs to be as close to perfect as possible. So. Obviously, we're going to find out a lot more about that uh, in practice tomorrow on Friday. So we're looking forward to that and seeing where we stack up with the other three. Um, but from a sense of just being prepared and doing everything we need to do to get to this moment right now, we feel good about that. Did we just get a little celebrity sighting, balancing a little family and work there? <laughs> yeah, Bo probably just went went walking by. You know, uh <laughs> it's a little bit warmer now today, but earlier in the morning, he was wearing a sweatshirt that had Chicago on it. I was hoping oh, he still had it on, but Bo. it since came off. So, <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Uh, obviously, we saw, you know, Bo has kind of been your biggest cheerleader, right, throughout the course of the last couple of years. What's it been like just kind of getting to have him grow up alongside you? It's really, really cool. Um, I'm very excited to get here, and I'm glad I'm here now in, in Phoenix getting ready for this championship. But uh, when we were we were leaving the house, uh, me, my wife, and my son, my son was screaming with excitement to uh, be heading out the door, heading to the airport, and getting down here. So he's he's really excited for this weekend, and obviously he's he's really hoping that we're able to pull this off and become champion. Well, you know, Tyler, obviously in Chicago, we got to ask you about. The owner of 2311, Michael Jordan. Obviously, he was at two of your wins this year at Talladega and at Homestead. Has he talked to you at all this week? Is he going to be there? And is he going to be, you know, kind of your lucky charm, do you hope? Definitely going to be here. Um, with how this week's gone, there's been a lot um, on my end and the team's end that we've been going through. So haven't had uh, the chance to, to talk to him yet, but I know he's going to be here, and I know we're going to have those opportunities throughout this weekend. So excited to that. Uh, excited for him to be here. He always um, just helps keep us uh, really, really locked in and motivated when he's here at the racetrack with this team. So excited to have him here. And obviously, you know, Denny's uh, Denny's hopes for a championship have come yeah. to a close on the driver's side, but but he's really excited for for us and the team as well on his his end is in an ownership sense. Tyler, we talked a lot about this leading up to the Chicago street race, but I'm just curious, can you describe to our viewers what Michael is like as an owner and just kind of his obsession over winning? It still is thriving. Yeah, I mean, he, he loves winning, but but getting to, to know him and his passion for racing um, has, been, has been a lot of fun to learn over over time. And you see that in how excited he is. You know, we, we won Talladega earlier this year. He was absolutely thrilled to be there for it um and then and, and probably one of the most crucial moments of our season at homestead not too long ago winning the race in the fashion that we did um you can just see it um in, in his excitement level you can tell this means so much to him um and, and it's just awesome to be able to drive for somebody like that um and denny is a, denny's is very similar in a lot of senses to that as well as an owner and it as a driver and how he races on the racetrack and he really goes above and beyond as well to 
um, share with us the things that he thinks that we could do better. Um, so just really fortunate to have people like that in the ownership level. Great tweet from Denny uh, this weekend, a little, or I guess earlier this week on Election Day. He endorsed you to win this weekend and that it's time for change atop the sport and you represent that change. What does that mean to you coming from a guy like Denny? You know, Denny's, Denny's always really uh, good when it comes to tweets, man. He's, he always knows <laughs> what to say and get everyone going. So, yeah, you know, obviously he was trying to do everything he could with, with the 11 and his team to, to battle it out with us. Um, but, yeah, this, this championship means a lot to him. Um, it's something that's so important to him and Michael and, and everybody that's been a part of 2311 since day one. So um, excited for the opportunity that lies ahead of us, and it, it's great to have – the support that we do from from him and Michael, from Toyota Racing, TRD, and, and everybody at Joe Gibbs Racing as well. Everyone has really been helping this process go so smooth. I think myself and the whole team feels really good about what we brought for a Beast Camry this weekend. All right, so you grew up in southern Illinois, a small town called DeCoin. How would you describe your childhood downstate and also your connection to the big city of Chicago? Yeah, you know, we, I, I was born in California, but when I moved out uh, to the Midwest, we were racing all over the place at all sorts of small dirt tracks. And there's, there's a lot of really good dirt tracks in Illinois. And I mean, we just, we raced many sprints just about everywhere. And, and as I kept uh, moving up, to different things, you know, we we, we kind of ran uh, dirt late models for five or six years, um, and through all that, um, Ducoin was was my home base, and um, it was just a it's a, a great little small town. Um, got to know a lot of great people that that have lived there and, and still live there. Um, it it really feels like like home every time I've gotten to go there. But yeah, it was just such a great place to be able to um, have our have our home base, if you will, and. Uh, hit all these racetracks that were within, you know, anywhere from a couple hours to, you know, 10, 12 hours away when we had to go out to the East Coast or a little bit further west. It was a great location for that. And the Chicago ties, you know, it all falls with my wife, Alexa. Uh, she was she was born and raised there, uh, moved to Bloomington, spent a lot of time uh, a little bit further south. And we just, we got a lot of family that lives in Chicago, lives in Bloomington, um, and, and every a lot of them are going to be here this weekend. They're traveling um, from Illinois out here, so excited to have them here. I think a few are already touched down landed here in Arizona. So just really, really excited to have um, everyone coming that is. All right, so you threw out the first pitch at Wrigley Field when you were here for the Chicago race. But what is this, Tyler? Uh, you were at the Yankees game. Uh, Bo's wearing a Yankees jersey. Can you explain I, you yourself? Gotta, you got to take this up with my wife. You know, she is the one that's from Chicago. But uh, she had she for a long time had a very unhealthy obsession uh, with Derek Jeter. She okay. probably doesn't want me saying that, but uh, <laughs> I'm on camera and I'm live, so she can't do anything to me about it. But uh, yeah, she she actually you know when she moved back to Illinois, she she lived in in Wrigleyville um, and went to a lot of Cubs games. But she's just always been a Yankees fan. Um, so she tried like crazy to uh, get me to wear some Yankees gear, and I um, I declined each time. I I stayed neutral. Okay. When um, I've had the opportunity over the last couple of years to go go see the Cubs play um, and get to see Wrigley Field. I've I've made my bed. I'm saying, seeing a Cubs fan, I'm not going to shift and jump over to the Yankees. I'll let my wife have that. All right, real quick, are you following the Bears, the Bulls, any other Chicago teams that are you're paying attention to right now? I know it's a real busy time for you. Yeah, for me, you know, when I grew up racing dirt, I didn't give a sports a whole lot of attention. We were kind of, you know, just, it was before the, at the very tail end of, of dirt racing, we had the in motion satellite on our rigs. So we could watch TV going down the road, but growing up, I was so locked in on racing. Um, when I moved out to uh, North Carolina, you know, I started watching more NFL on that side. Um, I've, I've jumped on board with the Broncos stayed there. Um, started watching basketball, uh, when I lived in, in Charlotte and, and stuck with the Hornets. But for me, um, I was unsure on, on a team with baseball and, I, you know, my time getting to go up there and, and see it with, 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 with Alexa, her family, getting to spend time up there with Kurt Busch. Um, just something about Wrigley Field, man, it's just incredible place. And um, I always love going up there and getting to spend time there.
Tyler Reddick, you're a Chicago boy in our eyes, so we are rooting for you this weekend in Phoenix. We wish you the best of luck, and thanks for joining us on the Chicago Lead.